tonight, we now know some of the reasons behind the departure of the athletic director at Madison West High School. Sandy Botham left the position last week. She did so after a boys basketball coach filed a police report following an incident where she put her hands on him. And records show she dismissed another coach, apparently in violation of district protocol. Both are African American. And News 3 investigative reporter Adam Schrager spoke with the two coaches earlier today. The return of Sandy Botham to Madison West High School last summer epitomized the school's motto of once a region to always a region. She'd led the school to a state basketball title in 1982 and coached at UW-Milwaukee for years before coming home to Madison. But the reunion didn't go well, and she's out of her job less than a year after taking it. We learned leading up to her departure that she'd been accused by two African-American coaches of discrimination and assault. It seemed like our, our time there was just made tougher for no reason. J.C. Uh, Dawkins was a wide receiver for the Badgers, an NFL player, and a college football coach before joining Madison West as the school's head coach in 2015. A season after winning coach of the year, his contract was not renewed. In part, he believes, because Sandy Botham is white and he's black. Sandy Botham called one of my, one of my former players a thug in front of a whole bunch of kids in the hallway. Now, if that's appropriate behavior for, for an administrator at a high school, then I guess I'm the one that's off base. Emails obtained through an open records request show a top administrator with the school district raised questions and concerns with how Dawkins was dismissed, saying there wasn't one letter or email telling him he wasn't meeting standards. They didn't even follow their own procedures. Stan Davis is Dawkins' lawyer. He also represents West's former freshman boys basketball coach Tommy Smith, who filed a police report after a physical altercation with Botham at a game. She grabbed me and there was like this rage and she pushed me across the floor. And so um, the athletic director pushed you. Sandy Botham pushed me across the floor in front of uh, at least 30 people. Um, what was going through your mind? I was in shock. You know, she put her hands on me in front of a gym full of people. Botham admitted to West's principal she, quote, put her hand on Smith's back to try to move him off the court. And the principal suggested the two go to mediation to resolve the issue. Davis that, says the know, school didn't right, follow yeah, up for months the until the district was informed News 3 was involved. And it's why they don't feel the problem is solved with Botham gone. But I don't think the buck stops there. Um, I think the problems that we're bringing to light are, are systematic problems. We reached out to Sandy Botham about the coach's stories and haven't heard back. The school district did issue a statement today saying its top priority is always that our students are well supported and have a positive experience. A spokeswoman would not answer why Botham is no longer athletic director, but said the district has conducted its own investigation into the coach's issues and has taken appropriate follow-up steps. She wouldn't say what those follow-up steps were, saying she couldn't comment on personnel matters. Adam Schrager, WISC News 3. The district spokeswoman did say there will be an interim athletic director appointed soon.